In this video we would like to demonstrate how to start the Evita to Dura and to adjust the parameters for ventilation. On the start screen you have two possibilities to begin with the ventilation. You can select the default settings according the patient groups or you can continue the ventilation of a patient by using the button previous patient, for instance, after a transport. Let's get started with a new adult patient. Select adult patient and confirm with a rotary knob. To adapt parameters in the current ventilation, just select the parameter by pushing the button and change your value and confirm with a rotary knob. Take care for your alarm limits, select limits and now you can adapt your alarm limits by selecting the value, confirming, changing and confirming again. With this key you always get back into the main screen. In the upper field of the screen you see always the ventilation mode and the selected patient group. Below you have your curves which could be depending on the configuration, pressure, flow, volume and if available CO2 and beside you have your measured values which are available in three sets. You can toggle between the sets by pressing here the parameter key. For changing the ventilation mode during operation, push the key for the desired ventilation mode, adapt your values, confirm and confirm with the rotary knob again. Now the ventilation mode has changed in this example from SIMV to BiPAP. Left of the screen you have some fixed keys for starting and stopping the nebulization, for starting the O2 suction procedure, for inspiration hold as well as for expiration hold. On the left side you have the alarm silence key which mutes the alarm for two minutes. You have the alarm reset key. The key lock protects the adjustment keys against unintentional changes, for instance during disinfection and cleaning. To unlock again push the button again and to switch off the device put this key for more than three seconds and confirm with alarm reset and now the device stops ventilation and jumps into standby. 